This is soju. And even if you haven't heard of it, it's actually the world's number one selling spirit. In fact, Jinro Soju, a single brand of soju, sold 86 million nine liter cases in 2019. To give a comparison, Smirnoff, the number one selling vodka brand, only sold 25 million cases in 2019. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. Hailing from Korea and dating back to the 13th century, soju is traditionally made by distilling fermented rice and typically clocks in around 20 to 50% ABV. However, fruit flavored sojus, which are becoming more popular than their traditional counterpart, are typically made with starches and have an ABV lower than 20%. Both modern and traditional sojus are almost always drank neat, but stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna make a cocktail using soju. But before we get to that, let's try these. So first up, let's try the more traditional unflavored soju. Just a fancy bottle. Oh my gosh. Is it a cap? Okay, it's a pop-off. Cheers. Yeah, pretty much tastes like what you exactly would think it to be. It's almost like a weak vodka, which is kind of what it is, just it made from different grains. Let's move on to the flavored sojus. All right, so here are some flavored sojus. This one is orange. And then this one is apple. These both clock in at the 12% range. And this brand in particular, you're probably have seen either Asian market or even sometimes the normal grocery stores. So we'll start with this one. The first thing I noticed about this one in particular is that it smells just literally exactly like apple cider. This little half shot, once again, looks literally exactly the same to the unflavored soju. Um, but let's go ahead and give this one a try. Yeah, that is delicious. So like I said, does a really good job of tasting like apple. And what is really scary about soju is what I've learned from drinking this is that if the more you drink, the more and more this is gonna taste like apple. So just beware if you do get in the soju. It's 12%, so just imagine this as your average like bottle of wine, but instead of tasting like wine, it tastes like apple juice or whatever flavor you're trying. Let's go ahead and try this orange flavor. I have not had this one previously. This one smells exactly like orange soda. These are, yeah, these are a dangerous, dangerous game. Cheers. Wow, yeah, both super duper smooth, both super flavorful. Now, I won't lie, the first time I tried these flavored sojus, it did come across a little abrasive at first because they are a little strong, but I'm telling you, once you kind of get used to that flavor, once you get used to drinking soju, these things taste almost exactly like the flavors you would imagine in your head. So that is the flavored sojus. Now you might be thinking, wow, this is fruit flavored, it's a low ABV, and you just pour it in the shot glasses. Seems simple enough to me. Well, boy, do I have a surprise for you. You see, in Korea, there is such thing as drinking etiquette, and primarily it has to do with showing honor to the elders or leaders that you're eating or drinking with. So if you don't know what you're doing, you could very easily disrespect someone's grandparents or even your boss. But lucky for you, I've created a quick guide to Korean drinking etiquette. And although not perfect, will probably get you through most drinking situations you find yourself in. Step one, go ahead and grab the bottle with your right arm and support with your left. No, it should actually look something more like this and you wanna make sure you're using this for both pouring and receiving. With that in mind, the young are always gonna pour for the elders. Unless the elder offers to pour for you, then you probably wanna accept because if you reject it, it's gonna be seen as rude. Step three, when cheersing, make sure your glass is lower than the elders. Following right after we have step four, which is when you take a drink, make sure to look away from the elder. And finally, maybe the most important rule, rule number five. If you see someone with an empty cup, you must fill it. Now, as we already established, it's rude to reject a drink. So to make sure you don't get absolutely smashed within the first five minutes of dinner, make sure to leave half of your drink left so you're not being constantly refilled at the dinner table. And if all that fails, make sure to give them a good old smile. And with that, you should be able to survive your first proper Korean dinner. And I know to some that this might seem extravagant or over the top, but just try to remember that in the end, it's really just trying to show honor and the respect to the elders and leaders that are around you. But now that we know how to drink soju in the traditional way, let's try something a little bit more untraditional, but still authentic. This is called Yugulutu. Yugulutu soju. So for this cocktail, you will need soju of your choice, Yakult, and then your choice of lemon lime soda. 
First, to go ahead and add ice to your shaker, and then you're gonna go ahead and add two parts of your flavored soju. Then you're gonna go ahead and add two parts of your Yakult, and also realize that you are still spilling all over the place, and that there has been no improvements in that department since last video. Go ahead and cap your shaker and embarrass yourself. Then go ahead and get a rock glass, fill it with ice, and pour in your cocktail. Once you empty your shaker, go ahead and grab your lemon lime soda, and we're going to go and top off this cocktail. Make sure you pour slow to prevent any excess fizz from forming at the top. Now, I went ahead and grabbed my lanky spoon here, but I assure you any spoon should do well. Go ahead and insert your spoon and give it a gentle stir. Just want to make sure that everything gets mixed in together. And with that, you have yourself a soju cocktail. So now we have our cocktail. Let's try this out. Cheers. That is freaking delicious. Normally you would probably think that mixing a yogurt drink, Sprite, and alcohol would be a really bad idea, but this pulls it off. It's reminiscent of like a dreamsicle almost, because your Colt has like a kind of vanilla-y flavor to it already being yogurt, and then we use the apple, uh, but also that Sprite kind of kicks in and it kind of creates this weird dreamsicle almost flavor to it. I'm sure if you used the orange soju, it would taste literally exactly like a dreamsicle. Especially now that it's summertime, this is a super refreshing, light cocktail that's not gonna bring you down. So folks, that is soju. Simple at face value, but rich in culture and in history. I hope you guys learned something today and I hope you guys will go out and try soju on your own. But I wanna know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Did I miss something? Are you gonna try it out? If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.